Hey, hello everyone, welcome to the Creative.xyz and today in this video we are going to upgrade this machine. This is MacBook Pro 2012 Mate and we are going to update the HDD drive to SSD drive. As we know, for editing our tool, we need a machine with high performance, especially when we are editing a 4K image. So with that said, we have here now the Transit 512 gigs SSD solid drive. So this MacBook here, it has 500 gigs HDD drive. So we need to update this for higher or better performance to edit our footage in this machine, either on DaVinci Resolve or maybe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. Well, we need to open this machine and replace the SSD drive in a couple of seconds. Along with this, we need a USB flash drive or an SD card to portable the macOS Catalina for installing on this backboard. So I have here ready with me. And also you can find out how to create a portable macOS flash drive in a couple of seconds and the easiest thing in the first link in the description below. So with that it, rule the intro. First, I'm going to copy a file which is Apple ProRes 422HQ. I don't want to play this on this machine, how it's played. As you can see here, the file is 2.77 MB and it took around 10 minutes to copy on this machine. After that, you can see the file is not playing as much as got. It has a drop frame while playing. Yeah, as you can see. So now I need to run another test which is the Blackmagic Disk Speed. The Blackmagic Disk Speed is will show how much speed it has the write and read while we are using this Mac. As you can see here, the write speed is around 71 or 72 and 69 MB per second. But the read speed is less than this, around 62 or 70 MB per second. As we can see here, we cannot edit the 4K image or we cannot play a 4K image on this machine. So we need to update this machine with a SSD drive for better and more performance.
After replacing the ACC drive to this machine, we need to plug this device to the power. For installing the Mac OS Catalina, after that we are going to insert the SD card or maybe you have the flash drive for booting the Mac OS Catalina. You need to click the Alt button in your keyboard to boot the Mac OS Catalina. Boom. Here we can see the Mac OS Catalina setup. Okay, click on the Mac OS install Catalina and wait for a couple of seconds to load the utilities. We are in the Mac OS utilities and we are going to click the utilities disk. We have to format the drive which we inserted on this Mac OS. I am going to use the guide partition after that. I am going to use the macOS extent format. Please be sure don't use the APFS file which is recommended for new version Macs. It won't be installed on your machine. So after that, name the drive and go for the next process. After formatting the drive, macOS utilities will appear. You need to select the macOS Catalina for further process. As you can see here, the macOS Catalina installation is start and you can go ahead with selecting the Mac, the new SSD drive which you inserted on this machine. So till that time, we have to wait for that for further process to get in. I think we are about to end this process and here you can see we have to select our country after that the continue and go ahead with the other process and we can see in the last seconds. After the whole process it will appear, choose your look that you want for your Mac OS Catalina. It has three looks right now, the light, the dark version and the auto version. I'm going to with dark version because this is the trend right now and boom this is the final and the last process. We are about to end this process. Let's check the drive which we inserted on this machine. This is the solid 512 gig SSD drive. And now we are going to download the Blackmagic disk speed and, and check the current speed which we have with this SSD. Boom. As you can see here, now we have 442 MB per second ride speed on this machine. 
just for changing the SSD drive and for the write speed for the read speed you can see 508 and 10 MB now the machine is completely ready to start working with the 4k image file either you can play a 4k image file you can edit a 4k file write this machine It sounds we have many and different flavor of the codex here that we can work on it can work with the 4k 60 frame per second as well in the last second I'm going to insert the flash drive and once again I'm going to check the speed I'm going to play a Apple ProRes 422 HQ video So let's open this file and see the performance. Will it work? Wow! It's very smooth playback. There is no issue with the drop frame and other problems. Well, at the last, as you can see here, the MacBook Pro 2012 Mid is now upgraded with a higher speed 4x. The speed for copying file, the speed for working with the 4K data. Now this machine is perfectly, you can work for your 4K workflow. If you like videos like this, please subscribe our channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Stay creative, stay safe.